Hello everyone, one noich. This is Steven Uresco of Restaurant Adventures with Steve Yuri. For today's restaurant adventure, I will be taking you on a culinary journey to Brazil to Chima Brazilian Steakhouse, located over in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Located on Los Olas Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale, Chima Brazilian Steakhouse has been around since 2003. Oddly enough, in a previous incarnation, this location was the site of the Banyan Tree Restaurant, where my wife and I had our first date. This time, we took our friends Phone and Tiger here to celebrate another very special occasion. When we first arrived, we enjoyed the large outdoor courtyard and the beautiful banyan trees. We waited for our table at the elegant bar where we enjoyed cocktails while drinking toast to Phone's accomplishment. I ordered a passion fruit caperinha while Phone ordered a sangria and Tiger ordered an old fashioned. Soon after, our table was ready. The concept of the restaurant is based upon the theme of a hojizio, where for one flat price, hojizio chefs would come to the tables and slice off pieces of meat for the guests from large skewers. This method of dining originated from the Gaúcho cowboys who roamed the pampas of Brazil and roasted their meats over open fires. This tradition was carried over to Chima Brazilian Steakhouse where skewers of various meats are brought to the tables by Hojizio chefs dressed like Gaúcho cowboys. Once we were seated at our table, we were served luscious, freshly baked Brazilian style cheese bread called pau de queijo. This was accompanied by a smoked fish dip. For her beverage, Beverly enjoyed a Guarana Brazilian soda, while Tiger and I shared bottles of an excellent Italian Primitivo wine. In addition to the meats, there was an extensive appetizer bar available, filled with salads, cooked vegetables, rice and beans, and sauces for the meats. I helped myself to Brazilian style potato salad called mayonnaise de batata, and eggplant salad. I also brought small bowls of Brazilian style vinaigrette sauce and chimichurri sauce for the table. And so from that moment on the meats kept it coming. A literal carnivores parade of chicken, pork, top sirloin, Brazilian style picanha steak, lamb, shrimp, and even roasted pineapple. There was so much variety that we never even got a chance to try it all. And if that wasn't enough, Plates of fried bananas, mashed potatoes, and fried polenta were also brought to our table. As the evening wore on, the room began filling up with diners, yet the ambiance remained dark and sedate with sweet Brazilian samba and bossa nova music playing softly in the background. By the time we had completed our most unforgettable feast, it was nighttime. The banyan trees were lit up with thousands of lights, creating a festive and almost magical effect. We left Chima Brazilian Steakhouse feeling full and satisfied as we made our way up Los Olas Boulevard for our journey home. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this week's restaurant adventure. Thank you for tuning in. This is Steven Uresco of Restaurant Adventures with Steve Yuri signing off for now. Until next time, saúde!